Hello, everyone. Once again, it is story time with Teacher Cole. For those who don't know me, I am your host, Teacher Cole, and the owner of Teacher Cole's English Quarter. It is an online tutoring company that specializes in teaching you English online. We teach students and adults. We teach in unique and interesting ways through science, geography, social studies, literature, and traditional methods as well. But today is story time with Teacher Cole, and we are going to watch a replay of one of my older videos about Thanksgiving. It's the No Nothings Talk Turkey. We're going to follow along this strange and interesting family as they learn how to celebrate Thanksgiving in quite an odd manner. So let's get started, shall we? Okay. The Know Nothings Talk Turkey. Story by Michelle Sobel Sprin. Pictures by R.W. Alley. A special day. Boris, Morris, Doris, and Norris were four good friends called the Know Nothings. They didn't know much, but they knew they liked each other. Today is a special day, said Doris. It is Thanksgiving! Thanksgiving! Hooray! cried Norris. I must buy a tree and get gifts for you and Boris and Morris. That's not Thanksgiving, said Doris. That's Christmas. I must color the eggs, said Boris. That's Easter, said Doris. I will cut red paper hearts for all of us, said Morris. <sighs> That's Valentine's Day, said Doris. Today is Thanksgiving. I read about it in a book. It said Thanksgiving is about turkeys and being thankful. It doesn't sound like much fun, said Norris. It will be lots of fun, said Doris. We can have a Thanksgiving dinner. Dinner? That sounds like fun, said Norris. Doris said, the book says there is a parade too. I love parades, said Boris. We can have a parade to honor the pilgrims, said Doris. Who are the pilgrims? asked Morris. They had the first Thanksgiving, Doris said. They sailed from Europe to America in a big boat that landed on a rock called Plymouth. This one says Plymouth. <laughs> I have a boat, said Morris. My rock does not have a name, said Norris. But it would like to be in the parade. Boris and I can carry the turkey in the parade, said Doris. What? asked Boris. We have to serve turkey for Thanksgiving, said Doris. Turkey, that is a very big country. We can't do that, said Morris. No, said Doris. We serve one turkey, a bird. Where do we get a turkey, said Morris. The book says they are wild 
and live in the woods, said Doris. Let's go, said Boris. So off they went to get a turkey for Thanksgiving. I don't see any turkeys, said Morris. Maybe we should call one, said Boris. We don't know the phone number, said Morris. I will try calling one with a phone, said Norris. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Norris, you are so clever, said Doris. You can talk turkey. The know-nothings waited, but no turkeys came. I know, said Boris, these turkeys are wild. We must be wild too. Then they will come. I will be wild, said Morris. I will hop like a wild rabbit. I will kick like a wild horse, said Norris. I will jump like a wild frog, said Boris. I will flap my arms like a wild bird, said Doris. The know-nothings hopped and kicked and jumped and flapped until they came to a farm. Look, cried Doris, turkeys! They were here all the time. No wonder they didn't come. They were too far away to hear us, said Norris. Can I help you? The farmer asked. Boris said, we would like to serve a turkey for Thanksgiving. Of course, said the farmer. We would like a good one, said Doris. You can bring it back if it's not good, said the farmer. Thank you, said Doris. We will carry him in our parade. When is your parade, asked the farmer. Now, said Doris. Morris carried the boat. Norris held the rock. Boris and Doris carried the turkey. This turkey is hard to hold, said Boris. I think he wants to go home. Maybe he misses his friends. Turkey, you will have a good time with us, said Doris. And if you do not want to stay, we will bring you back tomorrow. Let's make him feel at home, said Morris. Let's be wild. So the know-nothings hopped, kicked, jumped, flapped, and gobbled all the way home. The know-nothings got ready. For Thanksgiving dinner, Doris made string beans. Boris mashed potatoes. Boris put dressing on the salad. Norris cooked squash. Yum, yum, said Boris. Let's eat. Not yet, said Doris. First, we have to serve the turkey. Norris tried to get the turkey to sit down. Morris and Boris had to help him. Now, turkey, what can I serve you? Asked Doris. The turkey said, gobble? The turkey wants some salad, said Morris. 
Morris, you are so clever, said Doris. You have learned to talk turkey, too. Ouch! I think the turkey would rather eat me, Norris said. I'll give him some string beans, said Boris. The turkey dropped the string beans on the floor. The farmer promised us a good turkey, but this turkey is rude, Doris said. The turkey is wilder than we are, said Norris. We tried to serve the turkey, said Doris. Now we should tell what we are thankful for. I am thankful you told us about Thanksgiving, said Morris. I am thankful I don't have to be wild anymore, said Norris. I am thankful we can take the turkey back tomorrow, said Boris. I am thankful for good friends, said Doris. The turkey said, gobble. He is thankful too, said Doris, just like us. And so the Know Nothings ate their Thanksgiving dinner and let the turkey serve himself. Well, this is the end of our story today. I hope you enjoyed this earlier version of my videos. I hope everybody has a safe and happy Thanksgiving, and I look forward to seeing you next week for a new story. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Goodbye.